In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to launch your podcast to superstardom. So if you're ready to enter the world of podcasting, let's get to it. So maybe the idea of starting a podcast has been rolling around in your head for a bit, but maybe you've struggled with figuring out how exactly to start and you don't want to get bogged down by technical mumbo jumbo. This video is going to cut through all of that confusion and provide you with six actionable steps that you can take right now to start your podcast in 2023. Step one is going to be covering pre-production figuring out exactly what our podcast is going to be about. Step two, we'll look at designing your cover art. Step three is going to be all about getting you that gear that you need to start your podcast. Step four, we'll jump into recording. Step five, we'll edit your podcast. And finally, step six, we'll publish your podcast out to the world. So if you're ready to start podcasting, let's jump into step one. So before we actually jump onto the mic, it's important that we sit down and decide a few things about our podcast. First of all, what are we actually going to talk about? Is there a topic that you and only you are super knowledgeable about and you want to spread that knowledge out to the world? Or maybe you really want to bring on interesting people who can share their amazing stories that truly inspire your audience. The point is, Define exactly what your show is about early on, as that can help you remain focused as you move on to the next steps. Also at this step, we want to decide exactly what kind of podcast that we want to produce. Is it going to be a solo show, co-hosted show, interview-based, topic-based, narrative? The type of show that you decide on is going to inform what kind of equipment we're going to need to actually produce that show. And finally, we'll need to settle on an actual name for our podcast. Your show name should represent exactly what your podcast is about and align with your podcast chosen niche. You don't need to be clever with the name. You just need to be concise. Designing snappy cover art is extremely important to your podcast. Cover art serves as the visual representation of what your podcast is actually about. Good cover art should be legible and bold enough to grab your audience's attention and get them to click through to your episodes. Fortunately, we did an awesome interview with professional graphic designers Doris Short and Prescott Perez Fox that goes into a deep dive into what actually makes really good podcast cover art. I would say simple, uh, legible, something that's more pictographic, and something really important is also that it can be scalable. If you are not a designer, go in and also and look at, a, there are some free templates out there. I rather want to have good templates than really bad design. But to help you get started, we suggest using Canva. Not only is Canva free to start with, but Canva includes built-in podcast cover art templates that take a lot of the guesswork out of designing eye-catching podcast cover art. With those bits of pre-production now out of the way, let's actually jump into finally talking about podcast gear. Now, while I can absolutely get started with my podcast by only using my phone, believe it or not, there really are only three pieces of gear that you absolutely need to get started rolling with your podcast. First up is the microphone. And for this, I actually suggest you, you use the Samsung Q2U. Now this microphone is great because it comes packaged with all of the accessories that you need. It includes a stand, it includes a foam windscreen, it includes cables that you need to connect it to your computer. It is a perfect starter podcast mic. In fact, Libsyn's own Dave Jackson did a fantastic breakdown of this mic and a few other options if you need a bit more information. Something to keep in mind here 
is with all these microphones, if it's not exactly perfect, you can always add a little bass, a little treble. You can always tweak them a little bit to make it sound pretty much however you want. Check out the link in the description for this video. The second piece of gear that we're gonna need is a decent pair of headphones for recording and editing our podcast. Now, just like with the microphone, we don't have to break the bank to get this. In fact, a pair of Apple EarPods are more than enough to get you going. And finally, the last piece of gear that we need to complete our setup is a basic laptop or desktop computer. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy spec-wise, it just needs to be a basic computer. And this is gonna be used primarily to record and edit our podcast. Now, while you can get pretty elaborate with podcast setups, including things like interfaces and mixers and really high-end microphones, the point of this very basic setup is that you can grow with this. It's a good starting point in your podcast journey. With our gear locked down, we can now jump into recording our first episode. For this, you'll need a piece of audio editing software that can handle the recording and editing of your podcast. Fortunately, there are a ton of options out there to choose from. But my suggestion is that you stick with the free ones of Audacity and GarageBand. Now, if you opted to record your podcast into a piece of audio editing software, the next step will be to do a little bit of light editing to your episode. I'm gonna be honest with you. Some people find this process to be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you've never used audio editing software before. But I'm gonna provide you with three tips that I feel can make this process go a lot easier. Tip number one, keep it simple. Actually listen to your podcast episode. Remove things like flubs and tangents, things that may distract your audience from your content. But don't feel that you need to go overboard and remove every single um and ah. Keep in mind, this is a podcast after all, so it's supposed to sound natural. Tip number two, Keep it loud, but not too loud. Use tools within your audio editing software like Amplify and Normalize to raise the level of your audio so it's loud enough for your audience to hear, but you don't wanna to go too loud. So I suggest making sure that your peaks of your audio don't go above negative three dB. Tip number three, keep it to spec. Podcasts like any media have technical specifications that we need to follow. For the best possible listening experience, for your audience, we here at Libsyn suggest that you export your file out as an MP3 at 44 100 kilohertz sample rate and that you're using either a 96 or 128 constant bit rate or CBR. If you want more info on how to actually edit your podcast, check out this very special live editing session that goes into my actual editing process that I use on my own podcast that I've been working on since 2016. So you finish your episode and your cover art, but how do you actually get your audio file up onto Apple Podcasts and Spotify? This is where media hosting comes into play. Media hosting companies will house your files and provide you with an RSS feed that connects to the hundreds of podcast directories out there. While there are a bunch of media hosts out there to choose from, Libsyn makes it extremely easy to not only get your show published, but to actually measure how your show is doing with their world-class podcast stats. First, let's get our show set up. In the Libsyn dashboard, click Settings, then Podcasts to enter our show settings. Upload your cover art, as well as fill out the information about your show, including a description in Apple Podcast categories. For your audio file, if you recorded your podcast in your editing software, uploading your finished file is as simple as clicking on the new button, clicking on upload audio, and dropping your finished audio file into the add media section. Fill out your episode details, such as your episode title and show notes. And once you're ready, click the publish button to push your episode out to your feed. Libsyn also makes it extremely easy to get listed into podcast directories. Click on the settings button, then click destinations and choose from the dozens of podcast directories, such as Apple, Spotify, Pandora, 
and many others. To add them, most are as simple as clicking the Add button and then agreeing to the terms of the destination. With these six steps, you are well on your way to Podcast Superstardom. Keep in mind that these six steps are just to get you started. Podcasting is an ever-evolving medium. Fortunately, this channel is all about providing you with the latest tips, tricks, and techniques to keep you podcasting. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe and notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you're looking for more information on how to get started podcasting, especially on a budget, check out this playlist as it covers everything from gear to software that you can get on the cheap to support your podcast. I'm Brian Coddington with Libsyn, and remember, keep podcasting.